Hi guys, today I'll be doing a quick update on the Snyder's, the stock Snyder inverters. It has been two years since they've been stopped and configured and are working well. So I, I just want to give an update because I know there are a number of persons who are saying that hey, they can't be stopped and Snyder is again stacking them. I'm not sure why. I think, yes, based on what I saw, Snyder doesn't recommend that you stop these inverters anymore. These are the 4024, the 24 volts connects inverters. So I put them stuck and they've been running for two years. I'm just gonna pretty much run a generator and charge the batteries through them using both of them at the same time. Well, the batteries are now at 65, well, 64% state of charge. So I'm not sure if the load, because I only have five kilowatts of battery. Um, let us see batteries at this right now. So I'm not sure if the inverter are both of them gonna need to run in order to charge the battery based on where it's at. But I'm gonna try and, and let's see what happens. Um, and then, then I'm gonna put a bit of load on it. And then I'm gonna turn back on the charging source. I have 6,000 watts of panel now. Um, I've upgraded one of the, the charge controller to this, this VTRAN. 150, 100. Um, the last video I did on this some time ago, I, I had a, a C series charge controller here running with two Midnight Classic 150. These are still there. I've done a bit of modification on them. Um, I'll do another video on that. Uh, I've drilled some holes into them because they keep getting hot. And I'll do another video on that. But let's, let's start with running the generator. It's already connected here. Um, so the input to both inverters is over here in this box. I have two, two double pole breakers because as you know it's 220. These inverters are 220 in, 220 out. Over here is the output running the house right now. And here is the input. This cable here goes all the way to the generator. This is on the outside. So I'm gonna try and start it and see what the, the load, the amount that is gonna draw to, to charge the batteries. Right now, what I did was to turn off both, there were all three charge controllers, so nothing is coming in right now, zero here. So if I was to go in the input, um, on the, the trimetric, you notice that it's, it's drying out. There's nothing going to the battery. So it's saying the house is putting 325 watts. No, it's configured to, out, to show watts by default. So let's see when we start charging, how this number will change and how both should be able to charge the batteries. So, right, so the generator is running in the background. I'm just gonna turn on these breakers to give send the power now from the generator. It's actually right here. So I'm just gonna turn these on and then you should see the AC in light on both inverters come on. Give it a little bit. So there it was. So you see this one is blinking and this other one is blinking. And now if you look at what is going to the battery now, you notice it's 2.39, which means that this is 2390. What's going to the battery? I'm gonna go into the the SCP and let's look at what we have here for the the, the, the charge load. The amount to pull it from the battery, I believe it's set at 50%. Let's take a closer look at that and see what we to pull it from the invert and send it to the batteries. So at this time the the wattage going to the batteries is falling 
quite rapidly because of the, the size of the battery bank so it's charging up quite fast so let's look at the how much we are pulling from the batteries from the generator in terms of the the percentage charge percentage what percent of the total 6800 watts we are taking from the generator exit a couple of times to ensure that you're on the main screen enter um let's go into any one of both inverters they should once it changes setting in one it's gonna go over into the other so let's go into it and see charger is enabled mode basic settings so down here you see maximum charge rate the maximum charge rate is the percentage it's measured in percentage and it's the, the charge rate of the potential of both inverters that you are sending you are pulling from your generator or your your grid whichever the, the, the input source is so it's at 50 percent now i'm gonna just change that a bit just just let's play around here i'm gonna reduce it a bit and we should see this percentage reduced here and i'm gonna go in the other inverter and show you that it changes over there as well so let's go down let's go all the way down to about 20 percent or so so we are taking less now from the generator enter takes effect this number changes immediately because now less is going to the battery and let's go into the other inverter so that's inverter that's CSW 402400 let's go into 01 now down to 01 enter and let's go all the way down to basic setting and then go down to now you see the maximum charge rate is at 20 so I'm gonna change this back to 50 enter let's go back up to 50 here and you'll see it take effect in 00, zero as well this is a slave but it's configured to copy the settings over from one inverter to the other so let's go back to 50 percent enter you may not you see this going up you may not i'm not sure if you are hearing the generator in the background it's a gas generator it's a petrol generator it's very loud all right let's go back out and there you have it let's go over here and see the 50 percent now in in the master inverter let's go down basic settings where you have this and it's there at 50. so that is pretty much just to demonstrate that both inverters are working together to charge the battery um let's look at the meter as well you can see how much it's pulling uh, so we are in the master still let's go in the master but meter let's see in we are seeing 500 watts here coming in all right the state of charge is absorbed let's look at the slave down to slave meter absorb as well now in my pre in a previous video i stated that these inverters are not the same model they are they are the same model but not the same here they are far apart one is 2018 and one is 2021 so that's 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 the the age apart so the display is slightly different you notice this one says mode here while the other ones have said something else so the slave is older and the display is slightly different and it shows some other things here telling you the temperature of the battery because the temperature sensor is connected uh, another point is once it gets i'm not sure what it's the cutoff temperature but I know once the batteries get, if they get too hot, it's gonna cut off the charge and shut down, shut down the inverters and give you a warning. All right, 
so let's go down a little bit further so this one is showing 400 watts uh, one thing I know as well is that if we are charging for a long time until the battery gets to float you may see one inverter floating and the other one is still in absorb um, mode I maybe need to check the absorb time I believe it's set at 120 minutes by default in, in the master I need to check in the slave I'm, I'm not sure if it's the same but that, that's one thing I observe over time alright alright so that's it for charging with both inverters alright guys the other test I want to do before I turn the charging source on is to run some loads and see how that how much what will be pulled I hope it gets past 3400 so a microwave is running right now and you see the bar in relation to to the load bar here is showing I'm not sure if you can see that well it's showing right now we are pulling 4000 watts for that spike just now so you probably heard that clicking noise that's the second inverter that kicks in so right now it settles off at 1.6 kilowatt this is DC measurement here and it, that provides 1000 approximately a thousand watts AC um, that, so that's the microwave and a pump when the pump kicked in it went up to 4000 something watts and the second inverter started up so that's that's just to demonstrate both inverters managing the load yep so next i'll just power back the charging source so there it went again the, the pump started up again and the inverter is the, the so and you hear that other click noise that's the second inverter um, so that's how they turn on on that's how the second one turns on or off um, with load sensing to supply the, the, the power the loads power on the midnight classics four on that one six it's actually raining outside so five on that six on that one it's actually five on both So there it is, the, the quick update on the stacked Snyder Connex SW inverter, the 4024. Uh, two of them stacked. And they have been working well, quite well. Um, if you have any questions, please remember to drop them in the comment. Um, and remember to like, share, and subscribe if you like this sort of content. See you in the next one.